In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to require your members to make an in-app purchase while they're registering for a new account in BuddyBoss app. We've added some options to allow you to show products before the registration form, like I'm showing you here, on the bottom of the registration form, or after completing the registration form to give you a really nice and customizable experience. Now let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at Buddy Boss app settings, in-app purchases. And you can see we have the setting that says add to registration. Require members to purchase an in-app product while registering for an account. This setting has actually been in the product for a little while and we've just recently updated it with some new options allowing you to show your products before, on, or after registration. And at the same time, we've also improved the registration layout in the app itself. So if I click here on this link for in-app product, we can see a list of all of my app's available products. Any product that has been assigned to the product screen will appear in the registration. These three products have been added into the product screen. And I can reorder them. And that order is going to set the order that they will display on in our registration form. Right now I have this set to before registration. Let's go ahead and save this. And now let's go see how this looks in the app. So here we are in the Buddy Boss app. Make sure to hard quit after saving your changes in WordPress so you can see them reflected in the app. And then I'll tap on this link at the bottom to sign up. And you can see that right away, I'm presented with those three products that I had set to display in the product screen and in the order that I set them. I can choose from bronze, silver, or gold. And we are showing this nice preview of the product details before even entering the registration form. This experience allows me as a customer to choose a membership option before having to worry about filling out my account details. And I can tap continue and now I am sent to the registration form. So again, we are displaying the products before the registration form. Let me go ahead and pause and I'll fill out my details and I'll tap continue. And then before making the purchase, I'm given a chance to confirm the purchase information. Here we can see all of the membership details and the terms. If this were a release app, we would see the actual price listed in here. So let's go ahead and tap here to make the purchase. So at this point, we can see that the app has registered my new account and made the test purchase, and it has sent a verification code to my email to confirm my new account so I can log in. Now, that was a dummy test purchase, but of course, if this were a release app, it would have actually made me purchase the product through Apple or Google Play. So now let's go back into the WordPress admin and we can change the setting again. So here we are. I'm going to change the setting to show products on registration. And let's click on save changes. And now let's go back in the app and we'll see what it looks like. So again, I'll tap sign up. And now I'm presented with the registration form. As I scroll down, you can see the products are listed in this form after the account detail fields. Let me pause and fill this out and then we can select a product. So I filled out my profile details and then I can tap to preview the membership options. This is really useful if you want to have a simple registration experience with all of the important info presented on the same screen. So let's say I want to purchase silver. I can tap continue. And then again, I'm presented with a confirmation screen just to review all the product details before confirming the purchase. I could even go back and switch to another product. And then from here, I can tap to purchase it. So now let's go back into the WordPress admin and we'll change it to after registration. I'll change the setting here to show products after registration. And we'll click save changes. And now let's go back to the app and we can see how that looks. So again, we'll tap on sign up. And then as I scroll down, you can see that we have a registration form 
with no mention of the products just yet. The product selection will display after we fill out this registration form. So let me pause and do that. And then I'll tap continue. And now we're presented with the products to choose from. Let's purchase gold this time. So I'll tap continue. And again, I'm taken to the confirm purchase screen. This option is great if you want to split the registration process into two steps where your members can focus on their account details first before you present them with purchase options. We know that for many of you, how you register new members into the app and guide them into purchasing a membership is very important. And so we've added these options to give you more flexibility and control with your in-app purchase experience.